What you're about to see is a demonstration video of the asbestos core sampling system. Before you watch it, we just want you to realize that all of the materials that we're sampling in this particular case are non-asbestos materials. So there's no danger to the individuals that are doing the work. However, I should point out that if you're using the Wondermaker's core sampling system, we have had uh, negative exposure assessment sampling done that shows that you do not need personal protective equipment uh, if you're taking asbestos samples with the coin system, it's that safe. Enjoy. Hi, Michael again from Wondermakers. This time I'm here to show you a little bit about how to actually collect a sample of suspect asbestos material. We're going to practice on some uh, uh, pipe insulation here, which is one of the more difficult types of materials to sample. And we want to show you the difference between the traditional method where an inspector uses a, a knife of some sort, usually a razor knife, and a, a Ziploc bag, and the Wondermaker's core sampling system, which has this little T-handle that we call it here, and the individual cutter sleeves. Now, the previous video I talked about the importance of always making sure your documentation is correct. So regardless of what sampling system you use, you want to make sure that it's numbered. I've got my baggie numbered here. I've got my uh, cutter vial numbered here. And I have the uh, numbers right up on the insulation there. Let's start with the traditional method, which is a razor knife and a Ziploc bag. So the uh, inspector would uh, prepare everything, would uh, step out of camera and grab a uh, spray bottle and wet the material. At that point, they use their razor knife, and if they're coordinated, many times they try and hold the bag at the same time, and they use a razor knife uh, to cut in and uh, make a triangular shaped uh, wedge cut there. There's two of the sides. Here's the third one. Even with it being wet, you can see the amount of dust and debris that is just inherent in this sampling method. Now this is where it gets really bad because to get the sample you have to kind of pry it toward you and pull out and there We've got to do a little more cutting to get that. Come on. Come on. There we go. So you want to make sure that all of the different layers get in from the laboratory. And now we have the question, with this razor knife, do I have to cut bigger and actually get down to the center so that I'm all the way down to the uh, substrate underneath there? Uh, many times your pipe won't roll for you to help you get some of that debris out like this one does. But uh, a lot of times there is some uh, actual flex in those pipes as well. But that whole process, as you can see there, is pretty dusty. And uh, the potential for exposure to the asbestos fibers is fairly great. Of course, the traditional uh, method after the fact is you take your ever-present and ever-wonderful duct tape and somehow seal that up. And, uh, of course, on the wet surfaces that... Uh, doesn't even want to stick, so now we have to go around and over and up and down and hope that that's going to stay at least until we get out of the building, uh, at which point then it's going to fall off and leave an image of you as a very unprofessional uh, inspector. The alternative to all of that is to use the core sampling system that we've developed here at Wondermakers. In this particular case, I just park the cap of the vial on the bottom of the vial, put the cutter sleeve on and tighten down the thumb nut so it's all set and ready to go. We can do our misting and then it's as simple as starting the core with a little bit of a twisting action. You could see it went right in. You can feel when it touches the, the bottom there's absolutely no doubt that I'm all the way through. The sample comes right out like that. You can see no dust, debris, problems. Release it from the top or from the handle. Take the top that was carefully parked on the bottom, airtight, labeled, just that quick, ready to go. And to make sure that we are the professional inspectors that we claim to be, we now take the Wonder Fill insulation here, which is the blue stuff in the little squeeze bottle. Squeeze it until we get a little bit coming out so we don't get a puff of air. 
insert in, fill, and even leave a little curly cue on top like that because as it dries it does shrink just a little bit and now you've got a complete fill on that space ready to go. I don't know about you, if you're a professional asbestos inspector, do you want this or do you want this? Even the numbers tell you the Wonder Maker Score Sampler is number one in this industry.